Hello. Good news. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday. You may be someone who is a big sinner or small sinner. We don't know exactly the gravity of our sins sometimes, how God sees it. But let's see. You can be a priest and have on your past sins you really would like to receive mercy for. You may be couples with a lot of adultery history. You may be someone who has been very promiscuous as a student, unfaithful in relationships, and who causes a lot of pain in other people. What can we do? We can trust in divine mercy. On this day of divine mercy, Jesus made it clear when he appeared to Sister Faustina, asking her to have a painting of how he looked in the vision exactly like this and spread all over the world, he made it clear that whoever prayed the chaplet of divine mercy just contemplated the icon of divine mercy and said often in his heart, Jesus, I trust in you. And to really be convinced that the mercy of God is infinite and that our sin is finite. There is no common proportion between the gravest sin we can commit on earth and the infinite mercy of God. And the, the terrible things is that some sinners keep their wounds. They do not want to see the doctor, the only doctor on earth, who can make their soul like at baptism, who can forgive. And you know, Jesus doesn't say, only those who will receive the sacrament of forgiveness, who are Catholic, will be forgiven. There are a lot of people out there who are not baptized, who cannot be baptized, but they have the desire to receive the mercy of God. They have the desire to love Jesus, to go to Mass, to receive the Eucharist. So, the good news is, please, no matter your religion, no matter who you are, if you do believe that Jesus is the only Savior of the world who died on the cross for you and me, then just say in your prayer, Jesus, my Savior and my Lord, please forgive my sins. So please, do trust in the infinite mercy of Jesus. God bless you.